So brothers and sisters, the spirit of manipulation is at an all time high in these last days. And we see manipulation coming from our relatives, family, church leaders, supervisors, bosses, co-workers, our neighbors, and even from the people that we call our friends. And what I'm learning as I'm helping people navigate their relationships in healthy ways, I'm witnessing the reality that either people just don't recognize manipulation or they are choosing to ignore it because they are somehow believing that this manipulation is a form of love or a form of attention or some kind of level of concern for their well-being. But in actuality, people of God, manipulation is the opposite of love or concern because it comes with the negative connotation of deception. It comes from dishonesty, cheating, or some kind of trickery, right? Manipulation is a form of lying. Manipulation is when someone speaks falsely for the purpose of deceiving or influencing someone to think or behave in a negative way. And brothers and sisters, the Lord shared with me that this is exactly what is happening with some of you in your connections or in your relationships. And so somebody might be saying, well, Shanika, what are the signs? One of the biggest signs is when a child of God is dealing with someone that is trying to get them to do something that they don't want to do. So in other words, instead of this person or people accepting when you say no to something that is wrong or accepting that you don't want to do what they want you to do, they will try to wear you down and change your mind by manipulation. Mm -hmm.